Well, he was on his best behaviour last time he joined us on the show. <laughs> so we've invited him back all over again. Chopper Reed has now decided it's time that he created his own religion. His latest show is called Bogan G Jesus, and he's in the midst of touring it around to New Zealand. Welcome, Chopper. Or should we call you Bogan Jesus? Oh, well, let's do anything. Bogan Jesus sounds like a flower, actually, <laughs> when you think about it. Um, tell me a little bit about being a bogan. How do you know if you're a bogan? Is it universal? Well, uh, I think, I don't know, no one, no one ever thinks that they're a bogan. But, you know, there's a lot of bogans out there. And yeah. I, think, I think wearing the wrong footwear is usually a key indicator. You know what I mean? Uh, if you go to the cinemas in Ugg boots... What's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with it, mate. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? To find you. I've been known to do that. Yeah, well, welcome to the Ruddy Bogan Army. Mate. I did grow up in West Auckland. Oh, sweet as. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bona fide. Yeah. Yeah. I am. You're right in board, mate. <laughs> Last time you were on the show, Chopper, you were talking about the Republic of uh, Anzakistan. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. Got that right. Now yeah, it's a made-up take... word. You can say it however can you say want. Really, okay. Thanks. Next level. This is next level. Your own religion. Well, you know, the two things you're never supposed to talk about, religion and politics. Tick. <laughs> Tick. <laughs> Done it. Yeah. Why did you decide to create this religion? Oh, well, you know, there's a lot of people out there creating religions, and let's not mess around, they're weird humans. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Tamaki? Yes. He gave it a sniff, he's an interesting guy. Yes. And, um, yeah, you know, you got L. Ron Hubbard. Yes. He made up his own religion. I was like, come on, I can do better than this. If he can lure Tom Cruise in, you know, I could at least bloody get some, get some grade low level. That's right. I could, there's about a thousand Jenners and bloody Kardashians. I could sneak a few of them in there. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so, they're doing ads for bloody honey at the airport. They're desperate for work. So how does your religion differ to other religions? Um, it, it kind of, uh, well, basically, um, it, it's just built up from my whims. Really? So you how does it I differ mean? from other religions? Well, it doesn't. It just It's not. It's basically the same old business with a slightly different smell about it. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's, I mean, it's updated as well. A lot of the religions are quite old yes. these days. Yes. There's some stuff we don't need in it anymore. The Old Testament's full of farming techniques. I don't know if you guys have read through it recently. Deuteronomy, Leviticus, any of those bits? <laughs> oh, there's some juicy stuff in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, yeah, so I thought, you know, I'll bloody zhuzh it up a bit, uh, drag it into the future, make it relevant for people today, you know? I mean, I, I can't imagine you guys have been, found yourself coveting your neighbour's donkey recently. <laughs> <laughs> True, that's a very good yeah. point. Yeah. And it's time to update. But a lot of the religions nowadays, they take money, so does yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It depends who it is, though. Right. Like, Bogans, fine. Yeah. Rich people, I will be tithing the living <laughs> out of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> what does one have to do to become a follower? It's your yeah, just turn up. Just have your heart in the right place. Oh, yeah, that's you funny. know, I think a lot of religions are all like, do this every week and do that. Mine's just going to be like, I don't know, is your heart in the right place? <laughs> Good vibe, whatever. Do you have to sniff. become a bogan? Do you have to be a bogan to be a follower, or can you? Do you take non-bogans? Well, I do take non-bogans, uh, like I was saying, uh, but the price is quite high. You know what I mean? You right. pull up in a fancy little bloody Maserati. You're, so you're saying a rich person you'll be lucky can't be a bogan. bogan. Well, a rich person can be a bogan, but it's it's uh, that's when you graduate to being a cashed up bogan. Mm. Uh, yeah. so you just have slightly different tastes. You know, there's a lot right? of them, especially in Auckland, if they uh, bought the house at the right time. Okay, um, clearly the show. This is what we're going to get, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I've been hooning around. Uh, I won an award in Melbourne for the show. Congrats. Yeah. Awesome. I was pretty happy about that. Yeah, I bet. And it was the same weekend uh, I thought my footy team was going to lose and then they won, so that was a great weekend. A really good weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's just, uh, it's just exciting. It's good. People laugh at it really hard. You know what I mean? You know, you see some, some comedy shows, you're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. one's like lying on the floor. Is it? Like begging, begging for a pause. <laughs> for more and more. Yeah, um, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about your tattoos? Because I'm pretty sure that every time you come on there, a little tiny bit different. Who's Jimmy? Jimmy, uh, he's one of my best mates who stabbed me. Um, and then, you know, there was a couple of quiet birthdays after that, but we're back on again now. Mm. Uh, yeah, and you know, it's just a bunch of stuff, really. I was like, you know, you see sleeve tattoos. And they've just clearly gone in and just bloody fill up my arms. Yeah. You know, I saw a guy the other day with a Sudoku. 
<laughs> well, he's, uh, he's just trying to take up space. So, you know. <laughs> it's a big tattoo, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, he, shouldn't have, he shouldn't have had it filled in. He could have kept doing he it. He could have oh, kept doing it. Yes, yeah. you're right. Had, just put a real hard one on there. And yeah, then, yeah, that's yeah. right. Run into the tattoo parlour. <laughs> Fill in this box. It's a seven. Crossing it out. <laughs> Damn. And, and Chopper, you know, you've been around, uh, it makes you sound older, isn't it? But you've been around quite a few years. You've oh. seen a lot of New Zealand. Are we becoming a bit too PC? Or is it no. your job with your religion to I've, unwind us a little? Honestly, I don't know. This whole PC thing confuses me a little bit, right? Because people uh, think that I'm very uh, un-PC. Mm. And I like to think I'm very PC, but very offensive as well. <laughs> because people are confused. They're like, oh, you can't be bloody uh, politically correct and also uh, not be offensive. And it's like, yeah, you can. Just pick different people. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you want to offend people, don't go for, you know, migrants and all that stuff. You go hard at, you know, the idiots above you, the rich idiots. Excellent. Yeah. I like your formula. No, that works. Yeah, well. yeah. Really so, weird. you know, if, you, <laughs> if you've run out of ways to be offensive, just get a bit more creative. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, it. Oh, great. Hey, Chopper, uh, always a pleasure. And hey, I love the way that you, you contain your language too so nicely for morning TV. So, nice work. Oh, I'm saving them all up for tonight. Mm. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Chopper, <laughs> Chopper is in the midst of his 14 centre tour around New Zealand. His show is called Bogan G Jesus. I keep saying genius, Bogan Jesus. <laughs> I'll take that too. You can yeah, check out Event Finder for ticket details. Yeah, awesome, Chopper. Love your work.